What's up, you guys? Welcome back. It's a great day today. It's actually nice out. It's just under 60. So we're going to be working on the car again. As you guys saw last time, we painted the kit. As you can see, the new bumper is there. I got excited and I put that side skirt on. And I put the front bumper on. So it looks great. Obviously, the old panels, this was the oxidization I was talking about. Um, I'm just going to get a buffer and try and buff that. Maybe I'll do that next episode. But today, I think I'm going to try and put the bumper on because I really, I'm really like impatient and eager to see this put on. And also, this bumper has never been off. This is the factory bumper from Nissan that came with the car. So this bumper's old. Uh, no one's ever taken this bumper off. I'm the first one to take this cap off. They got spider webs and dirt in them. So these have never even been off. And this is how you get the taillights off. I have to take the over fenders off because I have the bumper cut. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. I do have the bumper cut for the over fender. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. And then we'll work on getting the taillights off. So we're going to start on this fender. Uh, let me let me know in the comments if you like this uh, camera angle. Because I got you guys strapped onto my head right now. And a couple people said they wanted to see that. So uh, this video we're going to try that out. So right now I'm just taking the over fender off. And you'll see that I have a bunch of washers on this. Because my wheels used to be way too wide. And... Um, they needed to stick out a little bit more. But now, since I downsized my wheels, I uh, downsized the lips. They should fit pretty good. And I do have some arms coming in from FDF Fab. They, uh, they should be here this week, if not next week. So you guys will probably see that in next week's video, hopefully. Because I really want this car on the ground. But right now, we're bodywork guys. We do body work, yay. <laughs> you should see what I did for the spacer on this one. Oh, another spacer just fell. Ooh. Ooh. Don't break. Wish I had another hand. This is what I was using for a spacer. <laughs> It worked though. Put them over there. Now I'll take this last bolt out. Oh, forgot to put the bolt over there. And you'll also see that the quarters aren't the best. Uh, I kind of did them half ass. This quarter used to be like covered in Bondo. I mean, it still kind of is. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't totally do this the correct way. So sometime in the future, we're going to be fixing this. I painted it just so it didn't, um, just kind of so it didn't get destroyed and rust itself out. Because they were rusted before, which is the main reason why I cut these in the first place. But as you can see, there's a lot of Bondo going on here. You can see the uh, cut marks and stuff. So we'll fix those probably once it gets warm. Uh, maybe once I drive this to work, uh, to where my welder is, I'll fill this up, fill this up, and get that covered. It's weird seeing it stock body instead of wide body though. Oh, I forgot I had to put a rivet in this one. So you can see how much I cut the bumper there versus what I'll have to cut here. That's why I didn't care when the how this looked too much but uh, there is one and we'll speed through the other one okay now that I bo got both over fenders off man they look rough I can't wait to finish that the way it should have been done before I was lazy um, grab my ratchet now 
we're gonna try and take the tail lights out. Uh, I've never done this. They've probably been out before, but I could be wrong. Never had these tail lights out, so we'll see. Uh, the bolts felt like they were in at the OEM like torque specs. Not that these tail lights are torqued, but you know, you can kind of tell. Like I've had almost every nut and bolt off of this car, so I can kind of tell like when things have been taken off before and when they haven't. Pop these off. Put this up here. It's kind of scary putting that on glass, but pop these off. I feel like they won't fall if they're up here. Keep them there. I'm going to go to the other side. Pop these off. Man, this one's in there. It's nice that everything's 10 mil. 10, 12, and 14 mil on Nissan. So no matter what you do, as long as you got a 10, a 12, a 14, and some screwdrivers, you'll do just fine. You can take a whole Nissan apart. <laughs> All right. So I'll probably grab the screwdriver here. Maybe try picking up. Yeah. Now I don't, I've never seen anybody take these out. Oh, apparently that's cracked. How about that? Not prying from there. Um, not too sure about how to get these out. I'm assuming there's clips to them. Oh, there we go. We'll just unplug these. Yeah, as you can see, it's all dirty in here. It's nasty. Some electrical tape. Whatever. Whoo! Scary noises. We'll just put that in here for now. Took that back there. I might wait to put the tail lights on until I so I can paint weird tape so I can paint this here because I'm trying to get rid of all the orange so mm, that's a good point we'll see once I get the bumper off but I might take the time to paint this purple I uh, don't think I have any purple here but maybe I'll just wait to put the tail lights in I'm not sure. We'll take the other side off and then we'll see what happens. All right. Yeah, this one looks way worse. Holy. Wow. Yeah, this is where those clips are. So there's two clips. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Now, I have to try and get the bumper off. I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, there's a clip there. And then let me look around and then we'll be right back because I have to figure out where to even start with this. Alright, so I kind of found some clips here. There's a little clip inside there, right where my finger is. Looks like you have to turn it. Uh see if I can get you guys in here that little thing right there seems like I have to turn it uh, like a quarter turn and then I can pull the bumper off there's supposed to be 10 mils down here but I know those aren't there now I'm not sure if they're on this side I don't think they're on the bottom oh I still have a wheel well in here I didn't even know that. I didn't think I had a wheel well there. Okay, so I know there's a 10 mil here. Let's see, right here. And there might be 10 mils down there. Other than that, looks like it would be the same clip here, a clip here. And 
we'll see what's still holding it after that. That's all I could find so far though. This was supposed to turn a quarter turn and it was stuck. I couldn't get it. So I just ended up snapping it, but it ended up making it way more difficult. So I'm gonna have to try and get these off and put them on the new bumper, hopefully. Uh, might have to make a new mounting system for it because I don't know if this will fit back on. I see it's riveted here and it's got a clip here. So maybe that'll work or maybe I'll just make it uh, bolts with rib nuts because rib nuts are the best. And it's got this gooey stuff on it which is like the worst. It's like all over my hands. Anyways, once you get that off, there's a 10 mil either screw or a uh, bolt here. So you could take that off. And then all around here, I can see in through there, this will just slide off the top. It just kind of like sits into a piece um, from the chassis. So this side is off. Now I got to try and get the other side off. So after I fought with the old bumper and realized there's a lot of stuff that I can't mount onto the new bumper, I figured out what I'm going to do is after I have extra LEDs uh, or an LED strip for the underglow, I'm going to put a little bit through the top. I guess it's easiest. So I'll come over here and show you guys. I'll come over and put an LED strip across the top. I'll drill two holes and make it run through and keep it tucked up to the towards the top so you can't see it. And I'll do that to keep tag lights on it so I don't get pulled over immediately. And then other than that, for the trunk button, trunk button didn't work in the first place. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take that harness and extend it to the passenger compartment so I don't have to drill a massive hole in this. And I will make it so I can basically have the button in there and press it anyways. It didn't really work before. I was always using the uh, the emergency one, the little pull tab that's in there. So worst case scenario, I'll just use that. So as of now, I'll have to drill holes in that. But I could do that later. What I think I'm going to do now, here, let me put the blade right that thing, ugh, hate that thing. Good riddance. So what I'm gonna do is put a light up here on the hatch and try fitting this up. So then I know where I have to drill holes and put rib nuts because the old mounting system is definitely not gonna work. Oh yeah, this thing lines up horrible. Oh, don't fall. Why is my exhaust tucked in so far? All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this foam. Now, try it. That seems like it goes on better. Maybe it was hitting the foam. Does it have that hole? It does, but it's way off and it's not even open. I'm just gonna rip that thing off. So, a lot of modifications just to get this bumper on. Grab these, this will do some damage. Trash. All right. 
Now back to what I was doing. Put the connectors up there. Alright, that'll line up. And I can make that line up, I guess. Oh man, this thing is so far off. Alright. I'll be back in a minute as soon as I figure out how I can get this thing mocked up. This is what she looks like. It's not fully mounted, I just have it mocked up. This body line is absolutely horrible. That's terrible. And then there's this body line. That might just be because the car has been hit in this corner. But that don't line up at all. So that gap is huge. I can force it to fit there. And then it fits pretty good over here. But I don't know if I could get over this body line. And I don't know if I could get over this. So what I think I'm going to do since it's dark out, I think I'm going to leave this. I'll think about it tonight. And then I'll decide if I want to, or if I feel like buying a whole brand new KVD bumper for the rear and trying to get that to work or if I just tough it out with the bad body lines for now until I destroy this bumper it's kind of hard to decide I don't really want to spend the money on another bumper but I might just make this one work I don't know yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording for tonight and I'm going to think about it and we'll come back tomorrow. Alright guys, new day. It's nice out. And I have a decision on what I'm going to do with the bumper. Um, I was frustrated so yesterday the filming wasn't going too smooth so it's not the best filming anyway. So, I put the over fender on, I only put two bolts in it, but it's not crazy bad. Like, I could get over it. This I can't change, how bad this body line is, but I think I might be able to cut it just enough to get uh, just this gap, because I can fit my whole finger in here, maybe get this fat gap good and maybe get this gap good um i'll just have to see where it lines up where i need to cut it and then maybe i could push it in place uh better i think about it i could probably get away with that so i'm gonna look at this and see if i can adjust that correctly and then once I get that set up, I'll put rib nuts in it and get that handled. So that'll be done with. This part right here is smushed in, smushed in this way and this way. And it hits the inside edge here. So I'm going to get a Dremel and cut it.
Okay. So that's way better than it was. You see that? Oh, it's way better. I'm happy with that. Again, I can't fix the trunk line, but this will have to work. Uh, now I gotta figure out how do I wanna fasten it. I think maybe the best method is to just use the holes that I already have and make rib nuts. I just don't want that leaking into the trunk because that'll leak. Maybe I can put silicone in there, but I'm not too sure. I guess I could put a rib nut there also. And then a rib nut on each side. Yeah, I guess that'll hold. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put a rib nut here as much as I don't want to drill into the body right here. Oh well. Cheap stuff. Um, can I use this? No. That's broken off. So, I'll start putting those rib nuts on. mounted I cut it made it fit the only thing I can't get past I mean obviously this gap is still kind of big but that's the best I could get it this gap is big but there's nothing I can do about that and I put the over fender on just to see how it looks and it fits pretty good I have the trunk all the way down I got the taillights bolted back in so overall I'm fine with this for now. Obviously it could be better, but that's what I get for buying cheap eBay parts. If you're ever gonna buy a bumper or anything like that, and you want something aftermarket like this, if you're not gonna buy the real shit, if you don't have the money for the real Vertex stuff, get KBD, honestly. It's not even that much heavier than the stock or fiberglass bumper and it fits so much better. Now I picked these up for like a hundred bucks off of someone on Facebook so it could be worse but the whole kit is on except for the opposite side. Depending on what gets here tomorrow I'll either be able to buff all the paint and make all the paint match because obviously the kit is fresh and this is my oxidized mess so um if the compound and buffer gets here tomorrow and obviously i'm not using a real buffer because i'm cheap i'm just using a drill with a buffer attachment or a uh, buffing pad but if that gets here tomorrow then we'll do that and you guys will see that next or if the paint gets here for the cage, then we're gonna do that. 